Hello again everyone, Edwin Learn back once again. In this YouTube video segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about something vastly different than what I've done in a lot of previous segments. It's going to be a how-to video, and it's going to be called How to Kill Bed Bugs. Now, no one can underestimate the proliferation of bed bugs over recent years. Uh, they vary, um, they're nearly an invincible opponent. They're not, it's not impossible to get everyone, but it can be very difficult. In 1995, NBA Houston Rockets coach uh, Rudy Tomjanovich said after winning second consecutive NBA title with the Rockets, he said, never underestimate the heart of a champion. Well, you know what I say, never underestimate the power of a bed bug. In the 1940s, bed bugs appeared to be on the decline and that's what people get for thinking, unfortunately. They made a comeback and resurgence around 19, I'd say, well, well since 1995, according to Wikipedia.com. Now, bed bugs are often found in hotel rooms. Excessive traveling has increased bed bug activity across the world. Also, I believe this can be attributed to baiting methods that aren't effective. Uh, According to Wikipedia.org, uh, the rise in bed bugs in New York City alone increased from 500. Uh, I guess you could say these are reports or something. It said it has increased from 500 reports. I believe that's what that is in the year 2004 to 10,000 reports in 2009. Now. I guess those are that represents the the cases. I don't think that's the amount. I just don't remember 100%. But I believe those are the incidents reported. Now another thing you don't always hear on when people talk about some of the reasons for this uh, this problem is that some a lot of times it's attributed to apathetic hotel uh, management and ownership. And a lot of hotels or you know, a lot of times the owner, manager, what have you, if you report a bed bug infestation in your room, they may just tell you to go to another room. And they'll say, well, you need to get all your stuff out of there so you know, we could treat it. And not only you're forced to go to another room, they may treat that one room, but they might put aside all the rest of the rooms until somebody actually, quote unquote, makes a report uh, about it. And then the bed bugs um, escalate throughout the hotel and they can escalate very quickly. If I remember correctly, one bed bug potentially can lay 500 eggs. If that's it. Correct me if you want to put your input on that, but I believe I did read online that one can uh, can uh, can give birth to as many as 500 and they could grow very, very uh, rapidly and I believe exponentially as well. Um, let me talk about some ways to control them. One fundamental thing, you could look at like vacuuming very persistently, thoroughly, at least maybe maybe two or three times a day. The mattress, you know, under the mattress, the box spring, the carpet especially. If you've got like a component on your vacuum cleaner that's got the little hose on it. If you've got any kind of plush chairs other furniture in the house they could go virtually everywhere and I believe at least 10 feet from your bed where you're they could at least in that radius and it could be possibly more when I was staying at a hotel uh, one time this is a number of years ago I mean they were virtually everywhere I had found them in my they were in my came out of the sleeves in my wall they are little baby ones little tiny minuscule kind of beige colored and you don't you don't even see any legs it just looks like they're dots that are just moving and you know, you'd almost have to see the problem to to believe it and actually experience it waking up there are like these welt colored um, things on your they look like welts and it seems like they were more prominent like around my wrists and ankles and uh, maybe there's less skin to penetrate they get the blood quicker because they are pretty much blood consuming I guess we could say insects and obviously if you're vacuuming 
discard. If you've got like a canister, discard whatever is in there immediately, put in a plastic bag and put it in the trash because obviously if you vacuum and you just leave the vacuum cleaner laying around indefinitely, they could come right out again and start running rampant all over the place and start laying their eggs and then it really it defeated the purpose of vacuuming. Uh, some other ways to control them uh, besides the vacuuming, I would say some fundamental rules like if you're going to if you don't if you don't really if you got the money to maybe replace the bed and the mattress by all means that could be a very quick way to maybe not eradicate the problem completely but that's where the main place is where they're going to inhabit you could also you could wrap your mattress uh, up your your bedding in the plastic I guess plastic wrap shrink wrap Rubbing alcohol, I've heard mixed reviews on that. You could put them in, a, you know, they say you get like maybe a gallon of it and get like a spray bottle. But I believe that's just a spot on treatment. It's not residual effect. I'm going to say that what I remember, I had, there were two bug sprays that I used that had residual effect. There was one called Echo Smart, and you can get this either online at like maybe Amazon.com department stores, Home Depot may have it. You might be able to get a department store, drug store, or look at your grocery stores if you can't get it locally then you might have to order it online. Another one there was one called Pronto which was very effective and I would spray like once a week and would at least keep it. It wouldn't like really eradicate it completely but it kept it to a dull roar so to speak. Uh, you, the Raid the Raid bed bug repellents, unless they've done something recently, last time I checked, they're not residual sprays. They just, they're spot on treatments and that's all they are. If you just want to get something, you're just staying at a, if you were lodging a hotel for a night and you saw it and you had some spray and you want to get just a spot on treatment, that might be okay. But if you're going to be at any place for a protracted or prolonged period of time, I mean, you're going to, you would have, if you're going to go the spray route, you've got to get a residual uh, spray on it. There is also something called, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, I'm probably not, it's called diet, uh, diatomaceous earth, and it's like this powdery substance, and you can get it a lot of times like in a garden shop, like at maybe a Kmart or a Walmart, or maybe able, should be able to order it online, and basically you could disperse this stuff put I would put it under the under the bed under the mattress about on box springs on the carpet area on the floor in that area I would put it all over put it on your on your bedding on the mattress on the box springs around around the bed what happens is apparently from if I remember correctly that the bed bugs kind of they they hit like I guess there are like edges on these crystals or in the powder and it cuts them and that's how it and that's how it uh, kills them. You could put it like if you got chairs you know, some kind of like sofa chairs in your home put it around like the legs because you know that the bed bugs they don't fly obviously but they can they could crawl and scale up the legs and if you can get around those legs of the chairs that would be very beneficial Obviously, if you have like a monumental problem and you don't feel that you can take care of this on your own, the best thing to do, obviously, is look online, try to call an ex professional exterminator to get this job done. And uh, if in another thing, don't get like the like the Raid Max or other insect repellents thinking that it's going to be effective on the bed bugs because it's not. The bed bugs are impervious to this because I've tried using like the Raid Max or and or like the Raid Ant Roach Spray, uh, Ant Roach Spray, I'm sorry, and it, it just, they just kept going. It didn't, they were like the Energizer Bunny, it didn't stop them. And I think those are things that you have to look at the bed bugs uh, situation has really escalated according to uh, it was a report that I had, um, had seen it was on uh, I believe it's pestworld.org that out of the 
people surveyed, the major uh, professional exterminators, 95% reported bed bug activity in 2010, 99% in 2011, 2012 was 99.6%. So that's virtually almost everybody. So to me, this is a problem that I really don't see dissipating anytime in the near future. And it just, it's really, it's good to, you know, if you go into a hotel and you're going to be lodging for any protracted period at one of these places, I would please chat with fundamental rules, check your bedding, check especially the bed area and see if you see anything even in the daytime if there's a major problem the odds are you're going to at least see one or two lift your mattress up tell the tell the person at the hotel at the front desk you really you want to you really want to check that room good before you move into it and that is including uh, bed bugs you might want to check online before lodging at a hotel and see the reports a lot of times Google reviews will have reports that are critiquing the hotels and people will talk about their experiences at them. You know, get it, get it some conception about the place before you actually go there. And because I had, I had a major problem, and they, one hotel moved me out of a room and put me in another. And basically, at the second time, the problem wasn't much better, and I just wound up staying there because I didn't feel like moving, and I was just like. It was seemed like a perpetual problem that just uh, didn't want to end. As I stated before, they were virtually, they were everywhere. I saw them in the bathroom. They were on the bed. I had a vacuum thoroughly. I was spraying once a week, and uh, they they got in my tote bag. Uh, I saw them one day. I had my wallet in my pocket, and they they evidently were coming out of my wallet. I saw them on my pants. Thank God the problem for me is eradicated now. But I do feel for those people and empathize with those that have to go into these places and have to deal with this problem because sometimes the hotel people, like I said before, are very apathetic and they'll tell you maybe to go into another room, but they might not really take the effort to really take care of the whole place and, and be inspired to look at other rooms due to that problem in that one room. At least not until other people report problems in other rooms. and. Basically, I think those are things you can uh, you can look at, and as I, I was saying one more time, if you go go to a hotel or something, you you wake up, you're itching incessantly, you're looking at your wrists, they're on your ankles. That's where the bites will often be very prominent. There's a good chance you got them in your room, and it's better to either if the problem is not extreme, that either you could take care of it. If you're in a hotel, obviously the protocol report it to your uh, manager at the hotel immediately but if you're like at a home or something that you've rented out then obviously report it to your landlord your own home then take care of it take care of the problem as fast as you can don't become apathetic and say oh this is no big deal it's that problem is just not going to go away even if there's a few because a few could become a few hundred very very quickly so anyway people that's basically what I wanted to get on as far as the the uh, bed bugs and uh, just want to say that oh, one more thing on fundamental rule before I sign off is that it seems like the bed bugs activity seems to become stronger not only at night but say maybe between like 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. because they're known to be nocturnal but another thing is if you could keep the temperature in your room as low as you can then that will help. It won't stop it completely, but it'll minimize the activity. In winter time, I know that's hard to do. If you're at a hotel, if you could, if you're able to not have the heat on and go under the covers and put a have a shirt on, obviously sweat, you know, maybe a couple sweatshirts, and if you can get under the covers and you can survive for for a while because the heat will just bring them right up. I mean, there are treatments using it, using a using heat treatments as well, and that's something if you want to google online that will be that could be fairly effective, I believe. But just remember that this is a nearly invincible opponent, and like Michael Jordan, in most cases you can't uh, hope to you can only hope to contain him, but you can't 
necessarily conquer it completely. It could be a very monumental task. Anyway, people, this is Edwin Lerner. Until next time, stay well.